In this video we're going to take a deeper look at the interface and new features of the document library in SharePoint 2016 online. Uh, what I've got on my screen at the moment is uh, a default library, the new library in 2016 with a new interface and what we're looking at here is the list view uh, with some documents that I've, that I've put in. So let's skip to some of the latest and, and newest look and feel. So one of the key factors is this new All Documents tab. If we left click, you see we have List and Tile View. So if we switch to Tile View, we now get a new graphical interface of all the documents that are in that library. Um, quite a new visual look and feel. And obviously we, we can switch between the list for administrative work and those people that want to stick with the original list view and obviously the the title view. We also have this information tab on the right hand side. Now if we select this, currently I don't have any documents selected and this gives us uh, an activity roll up of, of what has happened uh, on this particular library um, and as you can see it gives, gives links to the different documents that that activity has taken place and that's quite new and, and, and a nice new feature uh, a welcome feature I feel to uh, SharePoint 2016. Now if I select the document notice how the information panel here now changes it hasn't redirected me like before and it's given me a roll up of uh, a visual view of a preview of what the document may contain some properties and also some activities uh, that have taken place. And as I deselect and select different documents, notice how the information now changes and gives me a roll up of that information. There are obviously all, uh, a variety of other options here, edit and, and some sharing information. Uh, but I, as again, I think this is another nice welcome change to, to SharePoint. Um, and these, these things will be uh, very effective in the future. We also, as we select, if I deselect, notice this top bar here. As I select a new item, a new document, notice that the options change and give you different options, open, share, get a link, download. A lot of these are very similar to uh, previous versions of SharePoint Delete. Here's a new one, pin to top. If we select that, it now pins that document to the top of this library. And what that means is it's really it's highlighting that document as an important document to people coming in to, to this. And if I switch this view back to list, notice we still get this document pinned to the top. Uh, again, another nice welcome change rather than people having to search through uh, document lists um, certainly for maybe project teams those kind of those kind of uh, organizations whereby you need uh, key documents uh, highlighted this is a nice again a nice improvement to the to the UI the user interface and, and user experience if I switch us back to the title view we can also deselect unpin this item and then remove that back from either of either of those views. There are a couple of other uh, adjustments uh, uh, and additions. Uh, move to copy to uh, and the ellipsis with version control alert me and check out documents. These have all been removed from the ribbon bar, which you see is, is missing in the new uh, document library layout. So if we go back to the list view again here um, we still have the ellipsis and the ability to be able to select uh, a variety of options and again you get the same menu bar along the top. Uh, we're able to still use the column sort features and there's an additional column settings 
which allows us to move columns backwards and forwards across the page um, and the ability here to add a column and you can see the types of column that you can add hide or show a column uh, which were features previously uh, hidden uh, beyond uh, beyond this page in the ribbon bar uh, in, in the uh, library settings page. So that, that's an initial introduction. There's the search option on the top left here and if um, I now search the document it's a new interface uh, rather than the search happening in the list you now got this sidebar with this quick option of being able to find documents in this library obviously it's only search this library and if you want to then search deeper into the list you can select that and simply click back to go back nice option you've got the usual follow which is the social feature to mark this library as follow in your feed and the uh, share option which is unchanged there is also this new view here uh, save view and manage views and if you click on manage views this will then take you back through to the very familiar library settings page with all the usual options for uh, configuring the library so Hopefully this has given you an overview, a deeper overview, uh, of the new changes to SharePoint Library uh, 2016 and uh, maybe how you'll be able to benefit and your organisation can use it. Thank you very much for watching.